Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Thank you for joining me today as I walk you through the top features of Apple AirTag. AirTag is now available to pick up for yourself in either a single pack or a four pack. You can save a little bit of money by going for the four pack. They're 99 for a four pack or 29 bucks a piece. Let's take a close look at these guys before we start walking the top features. Here's my four pack. I've got four in here. I customized a few of them, but we'll talk about that in a few moments. And here's my extra add on one. Picked up a, a bonus one here. So I have five total to track a bunch of different devices for me and my wife. So let's go ahead and dive in. Starting off with the number one kind of feature for these guys. One thing this is going to make them very popular with people and that is the ability to customize these things now Apple has made it very easy to do if you pick these up online you're able to customize them in a bunch of different ways there are around 31 different emoji as well as numbers letters some circles some with backdrops on them all sorts of stuff and you can pick and choose what you put on there it varies depending on which ones you put in how much space they take up but you can also just type in some text or you can choose from the emojis numbers letters that Apple has provided for you super easy to do it might add a little bit extra to your shipping time to get these things out because especially at launch there's a big back order people customizing their air tag uh, but yeah super easy to do and you get these really cool customized ones with whatever you put on them and then you can pair them with some cool accessories and we'll talk about accessories in just a moment but next up is number two which is NFC these have an NFC chip inside and it makes it very easy for setup just bring your phone near and boom it'll automatically set up but aside from just the effortless setup and pairing it also allows Android devices to find your AirTag so say you've lost it, you put it in lost mode, anyone with an Android device can come up to it, tap on it, and they'll get this URL that actually tells them about that AirTag and gives you a message. So that message you can customize when you put it into lost mode and even give them the phone number to call you and let you know. And because Apple is always concerned about privacy, it even gives the person who found your AirTag the instructions on how to disable it so that way they're not always sharing their location with you. Apple is always thinking about the environment when it's designing its products. That makes it great that the AirTag has a replaceable battery on the inside. It is so easy to replace your battery. Just take your AirTag and push down on that metal side and then twist a little bit counterclockwise. It comes right off and you have access to a CR2032 3 volt battery right on the inside. They are very common batteries, easy to find, and when you're done, just go ahead and put a new one back in with the positive side facing upwards. Put the back plate back on and twist it into position. Apple says you should get more than a year out of a single battery on your AirTag, which is pretty good for normal use. If you use it a lot, maybe a little bit under, but the fact that it's still more than a year, you should be good to go. And of course, the Find My app will alert you when the battery on your AirTag gets low. AirTag is also water resistant. Apple says it has an IP67 rating, which means it can withstand dust and water from a variety of different directions and can even be submerged in water for a meter for up to 30 minutes without suffering any damage. That's great because if you lose your keys outside in the rain, they're still going to work. You're still going to be able to find them uh, and track them down that way. So you don't have to worry about some light water ruining your AirTag. Apple has continued to roll out the U1 chip to more and more devices. We are seeing it here in the AirTag, which enables a precision finding feature. Basically, you can really see your heading and how far away you are from your AirTag. Literally, as you move around, it'll kind of give you haptic feedback, glow green, and let you know which way to travel to find your AirTag. And this interface is actually really cool too. You can leave it, you can turn on your flashlight, and even play a sound on your AirTag to make finding it easier. And speaking of playing a sound on your AirTag, that leads us to our next feature, which is the speaker inside of AirTag. Apple doesn't publicize how loud the volume of the speaker is on AirTag. So we downloaded a quick decibel meter on our iPhone to test out for ourselves. When we played the sound, we got up to about 85 decibels on our AirTag. So I'm not sure how 100% accurate that is, but it gives you a good idea of how loud that speaker is to make finding it really easy. And you get pretty close, so it should be good enough. Our next feature is the wide variety of accessories that are already available for AirTag. Of course, Apple is going to introduce its own. These are its leather keychains, very simple. They come in a few different colors. The snaps are really nice and the high quality leather on the outside and a very high polished stainless steel ring. So we have a couple of different keychains here from Apple. 
There are other ones from third parties such as Belkin available. These ones are already available in Apple stores. The Belkin one here, it's like a secure clip and then it comes with either a loop or a keychain attachment. They're even cheaper than Apple's are. These are available through Apple again, but there's a bunch of other third parties that are also coming out with stuff, and I'll show you a few of my favorites. Uh, this is Apple's Leather Loop. There's also a non-leather version of this if you don't want leather, but this is perfect for attach attaching onto luggage or bags, anything like that. This one here is from Spigen, already out, already shipping. It, it I can't tell if it's leather or not leather, leather, but it has a very nice key ring that goes along with it. It's black and has a little carabiner clip attached to the end of it. Let's look at some more third-party accessories that have already come to market. Apple worked with Hermes for a few different options. There's a key ring, a charm, and a bag tag. This here is from Moment. This is a soft one that you can put inside of a jacket or anything. This is a hard mount that you can attach to anything that's a little bit more rugged or could get banged around a little bit. Just put the air tag on the inside. Boom, good to go. And then there's a soft mount. This is more for curved surfaces, so it's a silicone exterior for anything that's not really flat. Nomad has three options available. There is a regular keychain, that Horween leather keychain that we saw, and then a glasses clip. This goes in the back of your sunglasses or glasses so you don't lose them. Looking at the Find My Network as our number eight feature, this is very cool and basically allows you to always find your stuff thanks to an army of other Apple devices. Any user out there that has an iPhone, an iPad, or a Mac is able to automatically send you a location of any lost AirTag in the background while remaining completely private. Finally, privacy is our last top feature of AirTag. Apple keeps privacy front and center on AirTag. Even if one is traveling with you, you'll get an alert saying an AirTag was detected near you and had been following you around. That way you don't have somebody stalking you or trying to track your location without you knowing. AirTag is already a hit. We have seen everybody picking these things up and they are incredible. We love them already, even though we've only had them for a day. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you want to grab an AirTag or four for yourself, there's a link down below in the description.